I would like to identify as Zillennial. I do feel like Zillennials, they are a little bit more prone to impulse spending. Don't know who lah. <laughs> <laughs> People my age, right, it's very common to, you know, book the trip first and then think about it later. Oh, yeah. Or like, you know, money can always be earned back, but you know, time can't. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of Chatterbox and today we'll be discussing Zillennials, that special micro-generation that seems to have the best of both worlds. <laughs> My name is Fauzi, I am 34 this year and I guess that makes me a millennial. And also, if you guys haven't noticed, there isn't a host in this episode. So I've been nominated to be the facilitator of this discussion. Ooh. But I also think it's because I'm the oldest here, that's why they made me do this. I think we might be same age. Is it? When's your birthday? We say together, okay? 3, 2, 1. April 14 18. April. <laughs> <laughs> so you really are the oldest. Yes! This is not a competition, ah. Uh. Hi everybody, I'm Aiken. I am a content creator and also, I guess, a millennial. Hi, I'm Janae. I'm a content creator and also co-founder of a creative agency. And I am 25, so I fall in the age bracket of a zillennial. Wow! <laughs> now, before we get things started, to warm us up, why don't we play a little game called This or That? <laughs> Phone call or texting? Texting. Wait, what? what? I did. I expected the opposite. I'm texting. Wait, I'm texting. Phone call. Why? Why? <laughs> wait, wait. Efficiency. You call people, you know, they answer it's faster. Okay. No. Rather than texting. Okay, and sometimes okay. I get very lazy, right? You know, if you want to point one, point two, mm. point three. Wait, but isn't that the benefit of a text though? So you can keep receipts? Yeah. <laughs> receipts and I need time to think about the response. Right. I always tell this to people, right? I will only pick up your phone call, right? If it's an emergency, like life or death. Ooh. Oh. oh, okay. This is tough. Okay, ready? Yes. Instagram. <laughs> okay, Boomer, what, what's up? I just need to pay homage to the platform that has built my career. Oh. So thank you, thank you. Yeah. However, consuming content, definitely TikTok. I don't know why, I feel like mm. for TikTok, right, it's easier to share like how you feel. Mm. People are more vulnerable on the platform. That's true. Compared to Instagram. You learn a lot more also on TikTok. Yes. Yeah, I love TikTok for that, that education content. Yeah. This is MSN or Discord. Mm. MSN. MSN. You know what's MSN Messenger? Yes, but I feel like I've only used it once. Once? Like once. Wow, I was on it there. I signed in, I signed in, signed out to get my crush to notice me. MSN was truly the, yeah. the epitome of initial messaging apps for Absolutely. any of those people who are growing up in our era. Yeah. Wait, I have a question. Was it like Telegram? Oh, sort girl. Of level? <laughs> Girl, MSN only existed on like your, your computer. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. like Telegram desktop version. Oh my god! <laughs> kind of. You come home from school. Yeah. And everyone's home ready, right? Yeah. After dinner. Yes. And everyone was signing in about like 7 pm, 8 pm. Got the tudadum, yeah. tudadum sound. Yeah. Yeah. Then people yeah. keep coming in and I just randomly yeah. chat with people. Wow, it's just like a vibe. Yeah. Why Discord though? For Discord, because I can learn a lot of like tips and oh. tricks. Previously, when I was interested in like investing, I'll join like investing Discord ah, channels. Wow. So I think through that, you get to learn and also meet people virtually, like you know, from all over the world. Fauzi, see what happens to exchange knowledge on MSN versus Discord. <laughs> okay, MSN, we cannot learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> Making or buying your daily caffeine fix. I'm both. <laughs> yeah, I'm both too. Cause I need like two to three cups. Yeah, a day. same. Oh my god, I'm neither. Mm. Huh? You so don't you drink don't coffee? drink caffeine? I drink water. How are you alive? Making in the morning when we're home and then when I'm out for mid-afternoon coffee, yes. definitely go and get one, yeah. If not, you're spending way too much on the buying, but at least the morning one is like the affordable option. Yes. So you feel better about yourself in the morning and then in the afternoon, you're like, I've worked hard I deserve enough. this. Yes. I deserve this right. expensive Correct. coffee. Yeah. Gym uh, membership or home workout? Gym. gym membership. Oh, nice, yeah. Why? Home is just pandemic vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I don't want that throwback. Really. Yeah, I know, I don't thanks. Want that yeah, right? yes, no. We yeah. do our own category. Yes, uh. Okay. Yes. Morning 7 a.m. workout okay. or after 11 a.m.? Yeah, because he's a 7, I'm a after. I'm a after. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Sustainable clothing or thrifting? Sustainable, Sustainable clothing. clothing. Yeah. As much as I, I do enjoy a bit of thrifting here and there, it's not always that you can find something good. Exactly. So I find it's very difficult, especially for, I think, guys. I think now that I'm a bit older, I also try and buy pieces that I can use for the long term. Yeah, it's called a capsule wardrobe, right? Capsule so that is something wardrobe. I'm trying to that. build as well. Online shopping or physical stores? Oh. Physical, physical stores. stores! Wow! 
Uh, when, when it comes to clothes, I prefer getting the right size. Mm. Yes. And, and sometimes the... like returns get very messy if you buy online Agreed. and I don't want to deal with that. Sometimes it may look nice in the pictures, mm. right? But when you try, I'm like, eh, ugly lah. Mm. <laughs> Airbnbs or hotels? Hotels. Airbnbs. <laughs> I think this is an age I, thing. Oh I think it's an age thing. First of all, it's cheaper. I was younger. Girl, I can carry up a luggage up four oh, flights yeah. of stairs. Sure thing. Yeah. But now that I'm in my 30s, can I just have an elevator? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't like the guesswork of Airbnbs. Every time you try to find the key to the Airbnbs, yeah. it's like an amazing race. They're like, find the key behind the bike lock, walk Girl, straight, turn left. I find it That very is cool. literally like an escape room. You're going vacation or you're going <laughs> like survivor? <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Paying upfront or pay by installments? Pay upfront. upfront. I like to settle my debt immediately. Yeah. I'm one of those weirdos, right? When I pay for things with my credit card, right? Uh, I'll immediately pay back. Immediately? <laughs> then why do you have a credit card? Go, go, let me tell I you. I know points and miles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, miles. Do you guys have any like tips when it comes to maximizing your spending with your cards? So I'm a mouse person. Uh. I just go to my home bank's product page and go like everything that has mouse, I just sign up. <laughs> so I'm using my UOB Chris Flyer, Privy Mouse as well. Uh, both cards actually give you miles. Yeah. So which one you decide to use? Honestly, sometimes I like just see my mood. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm booking a hotel uh, on Agoda especially, I'll use the Privy Mouse card. So hack for you, the Agoda rewards is like wow. More so I'm a mouse girl, so I use UOB Ladies Card because it gives you like six miles per dollar based on which category you choose. Yeah. I recently also switched over to like a UOB One account because a uh, very good interest rate. Okay, another hack. I heard that now dudes can sign up for Ladies Card for I the miles. Have you heard your I heard it. Yeah. Streaming a movie or going to the theatres. Ah! Oh. Oh. Difficult. Okay. Streaming. Going to the, the theaters. Theaters. You're streaming? Yes. Oh. Okay, explain why do you like the cinema? I like the experience part of the movies also because Singapore sometimes is not a lot of things to do. Mm. Yeah. Or sometimes it's like time alone, right? You don't want to talk to anyone. You just oh, want to wow. go and watch a movie yourself. Nice. But you can get time alone by streaming a movie. <laughs> yes, you could, you but could. you don't get the food. Yeah, the full movie porn. experience, yeah. Uh, with streaming at home, right, my attention span is way too short. Then I, I am just like on my phone again, I'm not paying attention. Yeah. Right. Not like I don't like going to the cinema, but I do feel like it's really for very specific films. Yeah. Dining out or ordering food in? Okay. Ready? Dining, Dining out. out. Food in. <laughs> and this is why people think I'm like a hermit. Yeah. <laughs> because of work, it does involve me like meeting and interacting with so many people. When I have my own free time, I like to spend my time alone. Right. Yeah. How about you? Why why dining out? Yeah. Because I love good food. Preach. Yes. And sometimes when you pack food or you order in, it's just right. not the Preach. same. You know, yeah. you need you need the wok pay, you need yeah. the oh, wow. hot temperature food. You guys are like obviously live to eat. Live to yes, eat. Live to ah, eat. Yeah. I'm completely opposite. I'm eat, eat to live. live. Really? Yeah. Then what are you doing? What do you mean? Yeah, so you have no guilty pleasure food or like something you crave to eat like outside. Oh Guys, he doesn't <laughs> drink coffee. He <laughs> eats to live. He I'm dreams at 7 a.m. AM. This guy is a robot. I think I am. Eh? I have a little bit of question before we get into the full discussion. Which generation do you feel like you belong in or you relate to the most? Yeah. Technically, yeah. I would say I will belong in the millennial generation. Yeah. Right? People born between 1981 to around 1997. So I kind of fall right smack in the middle of those years. The Gen Z, they were all digital natives, right? Yeah. They literally yeah. grew up with technology. Yeah. Whereas I think for myself, I did not get like any smart devices until probably when I was in secondary school. So mm. like quite late. Yeah. She gave me a look. <laughs> I feel like I'm half-half because in uni, right, a lot of the people I met were same age, if not slightly older, okay, millennials, okay. right? And All then right. the other half are the people I work with. Most of them are Gen Z. So like 2000, 2001, 2002. Oh. And then that's when I feel I feel super old. This is something I super related to, right? I felt like I'm always getting older, mm. but the employees kept coming. Getting younger. <laughs> they were all younger and younger. I feel like, Am I stuck in a time loop? <laughs> like, I'm just, what's happening? Y'all need to hire older people. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that I'm millennial. I'm very blessed to have grown up without the internet. Okay. Where we have to line up at the payphone and call oh. our parents. Insert the phone card. Not even phone card. 10 cents in that orange colour. Yep. That iconic. Yeah, but also, uh, being a full-time content creator, I'm very 
happy to be doing what I do and I know mm. that's not possible without. Yeah, so it's kind of like living in, in both spheres. But you see, I always think about my parents. Yes. Imagine like if you are in your 60s, right, and all this has happened in like 15 years. This must Crazy. be like very overwhelming. I try and remember that when I'm trying to teach my mom how to post a photo on Facebook to share with all her auntie friends, you know, like <laughs> be patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I notice, right, the older generation, if they're using their phone they, and they're typing, they use the index finger. Yes. But all of us will use like both Our thumbs. thumbs. Oh, okay. No. Oh, no. No. no, no. Do you use your index okay, finger? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let me clarify. Sometimes I do. To type the message. <laughs> no judgment. I, I hope you, not. Look, you do you. You do you. Oh, right. That's right. You do Thank you. you. Eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna find fans of people who type with their <laughs> index fingers. Yes. I'm gonna find a community group and start a Discord. <laughs> <laughs> So, what defines uh, Zillennial? Zillennial, obviously, is a portmanteau of two words. Of course, Millennial and Gen Z. Okay. It's kind of a micro-generation, what they call it. Yeah. People who are born on the cusp of the early 90s to the early 2000s. Ah. So, you are kind of in there. I'm inside, in the middle, right? Correct. Smack in the middle. Zillennial. 1998. So, actually, there's even this statement online that people always talk about too young to be a Millennial or they're too old to be Gen, Gen Z. Gen I Z. see. Okay, okay. I can relate to this sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. especially when we're working in the content creation space, totally. we always have to update ourselves. Yeah. And sometimes we have to get ourselves updated with trends. Yeah, I would like to identify as Zillennial. <laughs> okay, great. No matter what, because I really feel like I'm in the middle. Do you feel that way? I feel like I have the Millennial mindset, but a part of me really wants to be Gen, Gen Z. Z. Oh, interesting. Because they're so carefree. They're very straightforward, very upfront. Right. And that's uh, some quality that I, I like about yeah. Gen Z. I think that is the perfect segue for us to talk a little bit more about some characteristics of a Zillennial. Recovering people pleasers. <laughs> <laughs> Explain! Oh. I think because we've got the Millennial bunch, right, who grew up always needing to fall in line, Ooh. but now the sort of like that Gen Z influence where you can really prioritise a little bit more self, right? really try and find my individuality and voice when I've really tried to spend my whole life falling in, whether it's in education, or results or career path. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I totally get where you're coming from. I do relate to the millennial work ethic. Yeah. Starting out my career after I graduated from university, straight away went into a full-time job. Yeah. And I worked that full-time job nine to six for nine years. Eh. Crazy, nine years, one place. Eh. That's like millennial, <laughs> high-level performance. Yeah. But that's very common, especially for exactly. the older millennials, exactly. right? Now that I've stepped out, uh, of a mm. full-time job myself and, you know, working as a freelancer. You're it's starting to different. enjoy it a yeah. lot. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate the ability to control my time. The autonomy. Oh my oh, god. The best. Damn show. So, so Zillennials discovered that slightly yeah, earlier, younger, right? Yeah. I see a lot of uh, Zillennial entrepreneurs mm. and uh, yes, yes, all yes. around us lately. So you do a lot of like tech startups, mm. a lot of startups to even help others. And yeah. I'm just so amazed, you know, how they got the idea in the first place, being so young. Hey, but you started your agency really young. It was definitely not something I always knew I wanted mm. to do, but I think uh, I just took a leap of faith. Luckily for me, it worked out. What made you go against the millennial mindset of, I need to just get a normal normal job? Actually, the millennial part of me was actually very scared also right. in going into like entrepreneurship because yeah. I wanted to just, you know, work, work a good job, you know, really stay at a company for a long period of time. But actually, it's not much difference doing your own business because you have to commit to it for yeah. it to work. Best the millennial of aspect of me is I still there. Yeah. Zillennial right here. Now, when it comes to millennials as well, I feel like they were a little bit more Thrifty? Mm, oh yeah, absolutely. A part of me says I'm very thrifty, like I try to save money. Yeah. Other part of me also feels like, you know, sometimes if it's worth spending that money, I won't think twice. You are, yeah. I want to save quite a bit and I have, but I also am more willing to spend on the experiences. I work and I toil for the rewards and that's okay. Whereas maybe in the past, it's like people are like, no, just save. Yeah. Save for the rainy day, you need to have like X amount and right. all that, yeah. People my age, right, it's very common to, you know, book the trip first and then think about it later. Oh, yeah. Or like, you know, money can always be earned back, but you know, time can't. <laughs> <laughs> and valuing the health and the ability to, let's say, go and climb a mountain. If I told this to my mom, right, She'd be like, why? 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 Yeah. Can you don't climb the mountain? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but why? What, in your pain to do this? We're gonna play a little game called Zillennials React, where we are gonna be given some common assumptions about Zillennials, and we're gonna react to them with these paddles. Nice. Are you guys excited? Let's yeah. do it. 
Zelenials take pride in their oh. personal identity. Easy, right? This yeah. yeah. Here we go, everybody. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't even need to say. <laughs> yeah. Individuality was something that I think people don't often talk about last time. Yeah. I think a lot of people prefer to blend in. Yes. Because you don't want to stand out. Whereas now, I think the survival aspect is already taken care of. Yeah. It makes the world a bit more livelier. Yes, like, yeah. yeah. I think it makes it more unique also. Right. right now, everybody is embracing their strengths, their weaknesses, their passions. And it's a very exciting time to live in. Like you see everybody doing their thing, right? You yeah. do you. Zillennials are bad at saving money. Wow! Ooh. Oh! Okay, wait, wait. So you strongly agree. And here's why. Okay, whoa, okay, let's go. Because I think we're good at investing. Oh. Not just saving. They're good at saving money, yeah. right? They do take into account, like, you know, what they need to save up for. Like, right. I, I see a lot of people talking about, like, oh, I need to downplay my PTO. Oh, that's true. I do feel like as millennials, we are a little bit smarter with our money. Yeah. But maybe they are a little bit more prone to impulse spending. Don't know who lah. <laughs> Zillennials are more socially isolated due to spending most of their time online. Wow. Okay. Oh. oh wait, wow, we're all very different. Eh? Yeah, 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 different. Okay, wait, you wait, strongly, wait. Disagree. strongly disagree. Strongly disagree. Everyone is still out there in communities, like let's say dancing mm. on social media. Mm. They are still meeting up. They all come with like this sense of like community and conversation. Mm. But then again. As I'm speaking, I also realise these are the people who are posting. So maybe the people who are not posting are truly isolated. So please share with me why you all think otherwise. Because I am a Zillennial, right? Yeah. I actually went through half of my uni online. So oh, it's okay. like Zoom University, right? Oh, right? And that's when I really felt quite isolated. Imagine the batch, right, that enrolled in their first year during COVID. Yeah. Also, they grew up with technology, right? Yeah. So sometimes you might even find yourself like mindlessly just scrolling. That makes us a bit more comfortable with being mm. alone and mm. just not interacting outside as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zillennials are job hoppers. Oh! oh! We're all the same! I'm not endorsing that you should job hop. I think a lot of uh, Zillennials, they are very aware of what they want. Yeah. And if the job does not align with their career goals, they're willing to go. When I interact with um, people who are on my age, right, if they're not satisfied at a job, they will not be afraid to voice out. And if, for example, management can't change that, then if they have no financial responsibilities, they mm. are willing to leave. Yeah, it sharpens the employers. There's that pressure to be like, I need to create a healthy work environment. As a leader and as a boss, it is my responsibility to undertake that, that positive development mm. for this generation. We're very fortunate to be mm. able to make this decision oh, yeah. to job hop in our parents' generation. Yeah. We have to you know, support a family and all that. And for now, maybe Zillennials are a bit more carefree. Unemployment becomes fun employment. <laughs> Zillennials prioritize personal well-being over career advancement. Yay! <laughs> we have the benefit of retrospect. Right. And we can go like, wow, y'all paid such a big price for a commercially successful life, mm. but it costs you your mental health. It costs you a lot of things that we don't want to pay the cost for anymore. Right. I think we are looking for fulfillment, meaning, purpose. And realize like, I don't have to sacrifice my success yes. if, if I want to take care of myself a little bit. Yeah. The nails would rather work for passion than money. Oh my god, not us all three oh, the same. Oh, okay. I've just seen so many people just for their passion, right? They'll even do it for free. Not that it's right, but they would. So I have a friend who really enjoyed baking. So, mm. you know, your first thought wouldn't be, okay, I'm going to bake to earn like as much money as possible, but you just want to test out your different recipes and eventually he opened his own cafe. Nice. So Love it's just that. very inspiring to see people are chasing what they like. And it's showing us that you really can converge your passion and your money-making ability. And also you're never too old to start. There are a lot of things that I don't want to regret. Yeah. Mm. about not having done. So like last year, I did a musical which was like nice. kind of bucket list thing. So that was amazing. I actually watched that ah! musical. Oh! Zillennials prefer to spend on experiences instead of material things. Okay. I'm really torn with uh -huh. this one. I'm torn because if not, LVMH won't be running now. <laughs> that is true. They'll bring their luxury goods to the experience. Oh that's true, God. that's true. Oh, they will go to the experience to buy the luxury goods. I just went to Spain, right? The moment I stepped... <laughs> look, I wasn't planning to buy it. I went to Louis V. Then I was like, but this is where Louis V is from. Oh my God. This is how a Zelenio justifies their spending habits. The whole experience, the fact that 
I bought it there at where it was from. Oh, I have no regret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's both, it's both for me. The millennials now, like, they do spend quite a lot on travel or staycations. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine dining, more experiences. Oh, okay, okay. So, on that note, did yeah. you buy? No, I don't own any oh, okay. branded bag. Dang, don't buy bag. All right, Zelenios are more entrepreneurial than previous generations. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I, have mm, I have my answer also. Yay! 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 Nowadays, right, literally anybody starting to just watch TikTok and then they realize, wow, I can be very inspired exactly. by starting my own business. And I think that's very cool. And having that mobility for people to do that is very, very amazing. Yeah. I see so many different types of businesses that I did not know exist. I don't know if you guys have been targeted by like those crystal businesses. Oh yeah. Oh good. The, I oh, love. I do love you? it too. And then they do this live selling thing yeah. where they pick out the crystals for you. They, they come up with very innovative ways right, I love to it. sell. So I buy a bag and it's out of this world and then these guys are <laughs> buying crystal from my wait, life. Wait, wait, wait. I never oh, said I bought we it. We just watch. You just watch. watch. <laughs> Millennials have unrealistic expectations wow. about their salary. <laughs> I need to call my clients and ask if they think that. <laughs> <laughs> They're there. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, All the same. Oh, unrealistic, ah, uh, unrealistic. Good. Okay, sorry, sorry. Let me just like tone it down. <laughs> As an employer, I will, I'll speak from an employer Very perspective good. Good. instead of an employee. So if I let them know the starting pay sum, we'll like say, okay, can I get this amount instead? I'll be like, okay, just let me know why. And then they tell me they can justify it. Mm. I think it's fair. Zillennials know what they want and mm. they know what they're worth. Actually, mm. another uh, common thing that they will do, right, is they will just wait out till they get a better offer. So, so they have like better a choice. Salary. They have a choice. Interesting, some wow. Zillennials only purchase from brands that fit their personal values. <laughs> oh! Okay, I think they try to be a little bit more mindful about sustainability, mm. about what the brand stands for, yeah. what they advocate. It helps us to make a more informed decision. But I must admit, I'm not a purist in this. I'm trying. Even though sometimes you want to shop, you know, more sustainably, yeah. but inevitably, we will end up yeah. with a more cost-effective option. Yeah. Or hopefully, we as a generation yeah. strive to choose the more sustainable choice. Millennials are more likely to participate in social justice causes or oh. advocacy. Yeah. Okay. And go! Yeah, Yay. for sure. I think that again, with all the opportunities, we also see an opportunity to make positive change yeah. in our world and our society. We are a lot more vocal as yep. a generation. I enjoy seeing how a lot of us promote like sustainability. You know, like oh, don't don't go and tapa, bring your own like tupperware stuff like that. Mm. I think social media makes us more willing to put ourselves out there and and to do that. Yeah. I have one question to ask you guys. Mm. What do you think about us categorizing people via their generations? Do you think it's important? Do you think it's even relevant? I think the good is that you can look at the previous generations and learn from their mistakes. Okay. But also don't think like it's great to perpetuate any constant stereotypes lah. Like oh strawberry generation or whatever. But for me, I think categorizing into generations helps us understand each other better. Lets us empathize better with each other. Mm. Yeah. Overall, we are able to, you know, learn how to communicate through generations and mm. also helps us improve communication within the workplace. Like, these are certain values that they prioritise. Mm. How are you as a boss going to be able to, you know, deliver it to them, make sure they feel fulfilled at their job. That's like a sign of a good employer, actually. Later, I send you my resume. <laughs> <laughs> also, I think with the generation now, a lot of the metric of our personal success now is, you know, fulfillment, purpose, like meaningful work that we can engage in. Yeah, and so that's why I think a lot of us who are in the younger generation, they feel more empowered to do so. But yeah, I think the idea here is that all of us, I think individuals, we're all too nuanced to like yeah. put into boxes and say like we must be this. As years go on, I think uh, with you know younger generation becoming more and more willing to share their individualism, it's honestly like what's exciting about this world now, right? Exactly. Honestly, you, you do you. You do you. you. <laughs> we do we. Yeah, I feel mean, like uh, life is too short. So we have come to the end of this episode of Chatterbox. Tell us your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe for more. Bye! Bye.